Hey, what's up, my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones here with the Construction Entrepreneur School and Services. Hey, so I'm answering a question here. Um, somebody sent over a question to me by email and asked me, and actually asked me two questions. First question they asked me is, how did you get into commercial work? It's a great question. So how I got into commercial work is, First, I was working for a company that was already doing um, a sector of commercial work, more so like um, uh, more so underground and construction work. So basically a lot of work in the streets. So not so much with the uh, city as an entity, but more so, so with, a, uh, with a utility company as the entity. So we had to interact with the city a lot and the utility company that owned the pipeline that we were working on. So I got a lot of interaction back and forth with dealing with inspectors, uh, doing contracts, estimating work, uh, what to look for in, um, in the bids. Um, so uh, I was already dealing with a lot of that now. Um, be, that job before that, I had, I didn't have as much, I wasn't, I wasn't introduced to a lot of experience before that. Okay. The first job I had was uh, where I learned how to do concrete. We was doing a lot of custom homes. Now I did learn a lot of the trade during that time, uh, but more so the hands-on part of the trade and not really the admin part which really helped me out at the next company I, that I went with. And um, with that company, I was able to uh, execute on different types of projects. I was able to execute on um, you know, the billing of those projects, how to submit those projects into a system. I was able to learn how to estimate those projects and how to do uh, follow-ups with the customer, right? I was able to learn how to formulate a crew with that, how to pre-order all my equipment, my trucking, my materials to be there the day that that job was, was going to start. So I can, and also learn how to do a handoff package as well. Um, and the handoff package deals with, you know, everything that I have bidded on um, or everything I have put together to determine this bid is here in here, and I'm handing this off to the foreman, the uh, or the or the superintendent of that project, and they're able to, uh, you know, order the, the the materials from the the correct place that I order the materials from, so we can get the so we can stay with the same pricing, use the same trucking company I use to get pricing from, you know, basically everything, and then know how many people. I had uh, allotted for that crew doing that section of work. So I was able to learn all that. So when I was able to, 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 to now jump into a construction project, I was able to win. I was able to go through it pretty quickly. So my first job, hold on. Hey, okay. doing a video. Okay, please close the door. Please close the door. Please close the door. Tanya. So the first project that I went for, um, I think it was, I want to say it was um, a project that I did uh, bus stops. I did uh, two bus stops in Poway, California, in San Diego. And um, I bid it on those two bus stops and I did well on that job, but I bid on those two jobs. Uh, it was my first public works job that I landed and it went well, it, it went real well. And the, the, the most challenging part of that job was to remove the roof off the bus stops. And I didn't have no place, I didn't put in a bid for a place to put the roof until I redid the post, until I added these new posts that I had to add, these new columns. 
I didn't put in there to put this post anywhere. So I had to drive around to look for a place to, that would allow me to store this roof and then get approval from the city of Poway to allow the roof to be at this place that was, you know, like three blocks down from the bus stop. So uh, it, I would say by just, you know, being able to drive the roof down the street, I drove the roof on a, I drove the roof on a industrial forklift um, down three blocks down and um, luckily nothing broke, nothing fell off and I parked it there. And it was two roofs because it was two bus stops right across from each other. And um, I learned everything during that time. You know, I, I wasn't doing it for someone. I was doing it for me. Uh, and it was just me. It was just me during that time. And I uh, hired people. Um, I had to pay for their uh, wage. And um, still had to learn a lot, a lot of things that I did not learn through the company. But during that time, it had me it brought up a lot more questions that I was able to ask our uh, um, uh, AR department, APAR department. Um, and uh, I was able to find out a lot more information. I was able to ask my uh, controller of that company a lot more information by doing that project. So I had a lot more information. So I was really, it was all a learning experience. But once I did that first one, Oh my gosh, I, I just kept going and I kept going after more projects on the public works. And it I found out it was a whole lot easier doing it than residential. Like it was a whole lot easier. It was like, oh, and then I learned how to get paid early too, because my inspector, we, you know, who to have a good relationship, and he was like, Yeah, so you, do you want to get paid early? Because he knows that it was a little bit gap in between me getting paid. And um they were able to pay me early on a, um, I think they did a 2% on a 10-day or 15-day net. So I was able to get 2% off on a 10 or 15-day net. And that was like, you can have that 2%, that's nothing. And I was able to get paid early. Instead of waiting the 30, 45 days, I got paid in 10 or 15 days. And, and, and once I got that job, then I was able to, you know, just kind of, Walk through and, and look for other projects too. Now that job too, I was able to land that job because it wasn't a lot of bidders on it either. So it was good. All right, the next one is, uh, when did you first buy workers comp? I, broke, I bought workers comp right before I got that job. Right, I bought workers comp. Like literally, I want to say the day before I got that job because I had a feeling I was going to I was going to land it because it wasn't that many. When I went to the uh, 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 to the uh, bid walk, it wasn't that many, it was a mandatory bid walk. So many times you got a mandatory bid walk, that means that everyone that's not at that bid, that at that bid walk cannot bid on this project. So I think it was me and another contractor or me and two other contractors that was bidding on it. And uh, I literally bought, I literally purchased workers comp the day before that bid. Um, or a few days before that bid, it was definitely only right before it, and um, and then once I got awarded with it, they gave me thirty days to present my insurances, and and then I had another. Once I got once I presented my insurances, uh, I think they issued me a PO two weeks after that, and then um, also had to uh, that they required me to have a bid bond too, so I had to uh, pay for surety bonds. Right, so I had to pay three percent up front for that project uh, on the surety bond side. Um, so I was able to submit for my surety bonds. That was my first invoice that I sent off before I even started the project. As soon as I got the PO, uh, as soon as I got the awarding um, letter or the commencement, uh, I uh, I sent in for my invoice for my uh, surety, and, and um, you know with the new PO, and it was all exciting. But that was the first time. So I only got the workers comp now I already had uh general liability and I had auto too and the only reason why I got auto is because I was doing work for a uh and a property management company that required me to have auto they didn't require me to have general because I told them it was just me you know so they told me it was just me so they didn't require me to have uh workers comp so I signed you know, 
actually my license was ex- exemption at that time already on there. So I told him like, hey, what's this mean? So and it required me. But when I did the work for the uh so I had to have commercial auto, I had that, and I had general liability already. Um and then I um and then I acquired the workers comp after that. And I think during that time I paid I went with state fund because no one else will really insure you outside of state fund when you first get your license. Uh, there's not a lot of brokers out there, a lot of uh, insurance companies that will insure a new contractor with, with workers comp. So you had to go to state fund. And I went to state fund with a broker. You know, years later, I realized I can go straight directly to state fund and get the insurance and not have to go through a broker and pay whatever fee that the broker wanted. Um, but um, when I when I got that that workers comp, man, it was, it, it, <laughs> I think I paid, I wanna say 900 during that time. I think I paid 900 during that time. Uh, of course, I went for a lower amount, right? I didn't tell them how much I was, I was expecting. I told them a lower amount um, that I wanted, that, that I was gonna have. I think I told them like 40,000 for, Two, 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 two employees. So there. So basically, I told them that if I remember correctly, I told them that each person made twenty thousand a year, and that's all I have working, you know. And they gave me a policy based on that, and that was the person who got workers' comp. And um, um, so that was the first time I got workers' comp, and that was the first time I did a commercial project. So hopefully that answers your question. Hey, anyone else have a question for me? Anyone else would like to know some information, leave it down in the comments or send me an email. My email address is always down um, usually in the description of the, vid- in the video or usually somewhere in my response to someone that's asking me a question uh, in the video. So make sure you check that out. And hey, I just want to let you guys know that if you do are finding yourself getting insurance and you're bitten on jobs that require you to have this type of things, you need to understand how to actually bid on these jobs so you can account for those, those insurance percentages in your bid. So make sure you go check out the overhead form on our website. That's only $4.99. You can literally buy, you know, understanding your company overhead. You get the overhead sheet and you get a video as well to teach you how to fill this thing out so you can know what your overhead percentage is. That way you can account for that percentage on every bid and you can account for those insurances. You you don't have to lose out. You don't have to wonder why I have insurance now, why I'm not making any money. You know, a lot of us are not accounting for that on that side. Um, And also too, to help you formulate these bids, right? I have admin forms on my my site as well. The admin forms are are $24.99. Now listen, these admin forms are gold, man. I literally took all jobs, not all of them, probably uh, probably about, I would say six jobs, six different jobs that I have bid on over time from residential to commercial. And I have given you those jobs so you can actually see how I worded those jobs, how I laid out my, uh, my um, uh, 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 how, how I laid out how, how I want to be paid, right? The, the, the draws. On on um, on on laying out for the total price, I show you. You can see it right there in the contract, and and I word out how I'm wording, how I word to 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 how I'm going to do the work, and then how I section out. Once this is done, this is this is how much I should be paid. Once this is done, this is how much I expect. And I have all that laid out in all these residential contracts and commercial contracts. That's in the admin form. You also get. Uh, the completion form, you also get a blank contract. So you can actually just maybe just copy and paste what I already did and change a few wording on it and submit it to your customer. So you get those forms, you get those contracts in the admin form deal and you get all those examples. And I got videos on there to show you how to fill out a few of them. So um, that's for $24.99. There's no one else out there giving you this information. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you support. And hey, my construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder. I'm going to catch you on the next one, okay?